Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Chess and every week on a Sunday I post videos usually to do with home interiors and styling but also the odd video about fashion and beauty as well. So if they are topics that you like to watch on YouTube then I would love if you could subscribe down below and stay with me for more videos. So in today's video I'm going to show you my favourite Neptune dupes that I have styled around my home, things that I've had for ages, things that I've bought more recently and just just bear in mind that this is no disrespect to Neptune at all, as loads of you all know I am Neptune obsessed, I will always buy from Neptune, I think their pieces are gorgeous, so this video isn't really like a comparison to Neptune, I still shop at Neptune, it's my favourite home interior shop, but it's just a little bit of fun, it may give you a few different ideas on how you can get that modern country farmhouse traditional vibe for less money. So I'm going to start with some rattan pieces and I absolutely love all the rattan that Neptune stock, the rattan coasters, the trays, the little baskets, I love everything, especially from the Ashcroft collection, like the whitewash colour, I absolutely love that range. Um, and I have a few pieces from that range, as many of you will know if you follow me on Instagram, which is at Florally Home if you don't already follow me. But I also have a few hacks and dupes to show you as well which can help you create that kind of whitewashed rattan look. So the first piece is this large rattan tray from Magnolia Grey Interiors and I've had this for ages and I absolutely love it. I usually have it on my dining room table um, on top of my table runner and as you can see it's a very similar look to the Neptune Ashcroft collection and also with it being quite like flat as well it definitely gives off the same sort of look as the large rattan tray from Neptune as well. I'll see if I can put a picture on the screen um, now so you can see how similar these look and this one was much much cheaper than the Neptune one for a very similar look so I knew I had to buy this one. I'm not actually sure if these are still on Magnolia Grey interiors or not but I will do some hunting, I'll have a look at some different small businesses and I will leave everything linked in the description box below if you just have a little nosy. I actually think that Duck's Nest interiors have a whitewash rattan range out at the minute so I will definitely leave their shop linked down below as I imagine they'll sell out quite quickly so yeah I'll leave it linked down below so that you don't miss out with that one. And then another way to create the whitewash rattan kind of vibe is to get some regular rattan pieces which I feel like the regular rattan is kind of more of an orangey colour. I feel like I see that more than I see the whitewash. I feel like the whitewashed rattan is harder to get hold of. So what I did last year in spring, I saw a hack on Instagram to whitewash your rattan pieces so you could buy like the orangey colour rattan from Amazon which is like dead easy to get hold of and then get some chalk paint and like dab the chalk paint in to the trays and it just looks very very similar to the Neptune Ashcroft tray so let me show you. So this was one of the trays that I whitewashed, I've got like tons here um, that I can show you in a minute but yeah obviously it doesn't look perfect, um, I just like dab the chalk paint all over it but from a distance it definitely gives off that Neptune look, it definitely gives the vibe of the Ashcraft collection for a fraction of the price as well. So I will pop a picture on screen of what this used to look like. It was like a very orangey browny colour that probably wouldn't match my home decor as well as a whitewashed look would. So yeah, I had so much fun. I actually got sunburnt when I was doing this in the garden last spring. It was a really hot day and I just laid all the trays out on the grass and I was just painting away. So here are a few more baskets that I whitewashed. I think this one is definitely such a good dupe for the smaller Ashcraft tray from Neptune. Just a little bit smaller than the Ashcraft one so maybe just two bottles could fit in here but definitely such a good dupe like from far away you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference at all and I think this one was so so cheap. Then I've got a larger one here that I keep my perfumes in on my dressing table. This circular one tends to stay in my utility room for like my laundry detergent and fabric softener. The ones that are for show by the way, not the ones that I actually use. So yeah, definitely a good way to get that Neptune look is to get some whitewashed rattan pieces. This one is definitely my favourite as I feel like it looks the most similar to the pieces from Neptune. Moving on to cushions, I definitely think that Neptune cushions all kind of surround a similar vibe. They're either kind of like floral patterns or like shape patterns and there are so many 
dupes around that definitely give off the Neptune look. So I have a few different cushions that definitely fit in with that Neptune vibe um, around my lounge and around my house. So I'll just share those with you now. You'll have seen these before over on my Instagram and my channel as well. But there's lots of small businesses around that make their own cushions, like they hand make them, which I think is amazing. Um, and they definitely look really similar to that Neptune vibe, very country modern, modern farmhouse vibe, which we all love. So this one is very Neptune-y with like the florals, the vintage florals. I absolutely love this cushion and I love how you can either have the floral side showing or if you're not feeling very floral that day you can have the plain side showing I just like flip it around depending on the vibe that I want for that day I'm always switching it around this one is from country abodes and they stock so many lovely cushions very country vibes country aesthetic which I love and I just really love the vintage florals on this design then I've also got my cushions from alter me home that I showed I think it was in my birthday haul actually back in September gosh that feels like so long ago I feel like my channel has like changed a lot since then so yeah I'll just show you those again quickly this one is the Bethany print I absolutely love it again very modern farmhouse vibes oh, it's just so pretty I love the sage green color as well so that's from Alter Me Home and also this one as well that's just behind me is from Alter Me Home as well this is the Nigella Midnight Prince and I absolutely love them both. I was speaking to Jasmine the other day actually who owns Alter Me Home. She's really really lovely and I was saying that I am desperate to buy some new cushions from her. She's just brought out some gorgeous new designs that are perfect for spring and definitely create that modern country aesthetic very similar to the Neptune ones so if you are on the hunt for that style of cushion, I will leave her shop linked down below. By the way, you'll have to excuse the lighting in this video because I've got the blind shut, I've got the curtain shut, and I'm using like the light on my camera, like the settings on my camera, but it, the sun is still peeking through and it's making me look either really bright or really dark, so I'm just gonna film and if the light's going like a wall then you'll just have to excuse the lighting okay moving on to glassware and in particular glass jars now the glass jars from neptune are beautiful don't get me wrong but they are just a little bit out of my price range for what i would want to pay for like some glass jars so i just use the ikea ones which are two pound three pound so so cheap and they just create the same sort of look in my opinion. I absolutely love my Ikea glass jars and you can still fill them up with the similar things that Neptune fill theirs up with in their showrooms and on the websites and things. So I'll show you my jars that I have in the utility. So I've got this taller glass jar from Ikea. I think this one was like a little bit more expensive, maybe like three pound. And I've just filled it with some laundry powder and I've got a little wooden scoop in there from Amazon. I'll leave that link down below as well. And it's not like a bad looking glass jar at all. It's very like simplistic. It's got like a little um, cute lid. And then next to it in my utility, you'll know if you follow me on Instagram, I just have the smaller glass jar from Ikea with some little wooden pegs in from eBay and together they definitely create that modern farmhouse look. You don't need to spend 120 quid on two different jars from Neptune. I mean if you want to you can do because anyone can spend their money on whatever but in my opinion the Ikea ones do the job and look just as pretty with the right things inside them. I also have two of those smaller jars in my kitchen as well for just styling purposes only. I never actually use anything from these jars. So I've just got some flour and some oats. Definitely inspired by the Neptune showrooms. They always have such gorgeous kitchens with like glass jars out and oats and like pasta and flour and all sorts of things inside them. And I just like how they look on show in the kitchen. But again, two pound for this little glass jar. I've got a little wooden scoop in again from Amazon and I've filled them with oats and flour, really, really cheap. They absolutely create that modern farmhouse look. They go really well with all the neutrals and I just really love how they look on show. So if you're wanting to create that look, then I would definitely recommend the Ikea ones. Even if you just want to like try the Ikea ones first and save up for the Neptune ones, then I think that would be a really good idea to see whether you like glass jars in your kitchen, whether you like them on show. But yeah, I will definitely just keep these out forever now probably. The final jars that I'm going to show you are these ones from Aldi in the Aldi special buys recently so hopefully they'll still be there when this video is live and these are so cute they definitely give me Neptune and white company vibes I'll get them out to show you now. So here they are they are a little bit smaller than the Ikea ones so I'm thinking these for a bathroom on the Aldi packaging it's styled up with like little like cotton buds and cotton pads so I think I might do the same in my bathroom and these actually 
actually look really, really similar to the Neptune ones, more similar than the um, Ikea ones do. These are a really, really good dupe and I can't remember how much they are and I've just thrown the box down there, but I think maybe like £8 or £6 for both of them. So an absolute steal and they definitely create that traditional bathroom vibe, the white company vibe, the Neptune vibe that we all really love. Well, I hope you love because hopefully you wouldn't have clicked on this video if you didn't like that vibe. Next is flowers, my favourite, and I've got some really fab dupes for the Neptune flowers. The Neptune flowers are gorgeous and they feel really good as well. Like like they are pricey but I feel like they're good quality faux flowers so I will still continue to buy the Neptune flowers and as some of you will know I did treat myself to some Neptune flowers the other week and I absolutely love those but here are some really lovely alternatives if you don't want to splash the cash just yet. So I'll pop a photo on the screen of the gorgeous Neptune green hydrangea that so many people have in their homes and it looks honestly stunning but it's £21 for one hydrangea which is a little bit pricey. Um, nothing, not too bad but just a little bit pricey but one of my favorite small businesses habitual home have just brought out these huge green hydrangeas and they are so similar to the Neptune ones because obviously they're green but the Neptune ones have like a slight bit of pink in them and these ones also have a slight bit of pink in them so they are so so similar and these ones are only nine pound and they are huge like you can see it next to my head like it's so big it's it's like bigger than my head <laughs> and my head's big <laughs> the actual stem is really big as well so you can just either like fold it or cut it depending on where you're putting it and I just think these are such a good dupe for the Neptune hydrangeas they are absolutely beautiful I got two of them and I can't wait to style these up in a lovely spring bouquet as well as hydrangeas I also think ranunculus or ranuncular I don't know which one is like grammatically correct um ranunculus I'll go with I also think ranunculus are a very Neptune-y kind of flower and um, they always stock them and they just look so pretty around springtime but again a little bit on the pricier side so if you are wanting a more cheaper alternative then I've got some gorgeous dupes from Habitual Home and Home Sense. If you are a regular watcher of my videos then you'll have seen these in a previous video but these are so so similar to the white ranunculus from Neptune and um, each stem comes with like an open flower and then like a little kind of growing flower they're really really pretty and they're only quite short as well so you can just like stick them wherever you like in the bouquet and they'll just kind of stay there and like the rest of the flowers will just hold them into place so they are from habitual home and they are much more affordable than the neptune ones and I also thought that these ones from Home Sense gave off that kind of look as well. The colour is a really cute peachy colour that Neptune kind of go for. They kind of go for like the peachy pink kind of colour for their faux flowers, which is super pretty. So these ones are definitely similar in colour, but also in style as well. I'll just show you one of them. One stem has multiple flower heads on and they are just super pretty and perfect for spring and like two pound each. Next I'm going to move on to amber glass pieces, in particular candles and bottles. And I just feel like whenever you see amber glass in people's houses, like over on Instagram, it just instantly creates that country modern look. I absolutely love amber glass bottles and candles. I've got them all over my house and obviously Neptune stocked them as well. I do have some of the Neptune amber glass pieces, but I've also got some other amber glass pieces that can be nice, affordable alternatives. So here are my amber glass bottles that stay out constantly. They stay on my little like wooden um, like holder thing that I have near my sink and these ones are from Paper and Ink and I absolutely love everything from Paper and Ink. Definitely go and check out Kasha's website in the description box below because her shop is just beautiful and she is a really lovely lady as well. And you can get the labels personalised and I think she even does like personalization like Chessie's kitchen I could get on it and things like that so definitely go and message her on Instagram and see what she can offer but I absolutely love these I love the traditional label as well I love the black pumps and like I said before it definitely helps to create that country modern look in my kitchen next is an amazing little dupe these are five pound each from Marks and Spencer's lots of you will know about this already they come in different scents um, and I went for the balance one it had like black pepper in so it kind of reminded me of the Malton Brown scent only plastic obviously because they're only five pound but they definitely help to create that kind of Neptune look in my downstairs toilet and they're nice and small as well so they fit on my sink really nicely too 
And then I also really love amber glass candles as well. This one you've seen before on my previous videos. This one is from Home Sense and it just smells so good. It's myrrh scented and I absolutely love it. And then I've just got this little mini one. I think I want it in a giveaway once. It's from the Little Peace Company and it smells just like really relaxing. It kind of smells like a spa and also just looks really cute with it being amber glass. I just think it's so like traditional and classic. You can't really go wrong with amber glass and I feel like it just adds a little bit of extra detail to your rooms as well. And then finally I've got a few kitchen bits to show you and I'm mostly excited about these pieces actually because I think they are like really really good dupes for the Neptune pieces. So first I've got two chopping boards for you that I actually got yesterday in HomeSense and this video is going live tomorrow so definitely go to your home senses if you want to get hold of any of these chopping boards because whenever I'm in home sense I always go and like have a look around the chopping board section and I've never seen these ones before so I'm hoping that they're new and that they'll last for a while or they'll be in stock for a while so you can all go and treat yourselves. So the first one is this really really whitewashed chopping board and this looks identical to the colour chopping boards that Neptune stock like the whitewashed wooden ones obviously they stock the rectangular ones rather than the circular ones I'll pop a picture on the screen now but I think they're like 60 70 pounds and for a chopping board that will not get used by the way this is just for like up against my kitchen wall for a chopping board that won't get used 70 pound is just a little bit steep in my opinion so this one from home sense is such a similar color and it was only 13 pound and even though it's circular i definitely think it's still a really good dupe for the neptune ones and how cute is a little heart as well so yeah i was so pleased when i saw this yesterday i've never seen this in home sense before so i was like that is mine i need it before anyone else gets it <laughs> and neptune also stuck marble chopping boards as well that are a little bit on the pricier side like i said before um so if you'd rather a cheaper alternative then <gasps> i saw this in home sense yesterday and i was like oh my god i need that right now it was only oh, i've ripped the price off i think it was seven pound and normally marble chopping boards that i've seen on like high streets and things they've got like weird like lines on them and like you turn it over and you, like you find one and then you think oh that's perfect and then you turn it over and it's got like weird like silver lines all over it which isn't the vibe that I like to go for personally but this one is like plain front and back and I absolutely love it. It's such a good dupe for the Neptune marble chopping board and what I'm going to do is like pair them both together like this. I might see if I can insert my little styling clip now so you can see how I've got these styled in the kitchen but I can't believe how cheap it was and how gorgeous it is and it's like really really good quality as well. You can tell I'm excited about these can't you? <laughs> and then finally my last Neptune dupe for today's video is ceramic tableware and I think a lot of you will know what I'm about to show you. So obviously the Neptune Bosley range is beautiful, it's got like the ribbed effects, it's got the little bubble detail all around like the rim of the bowls and the plates and the cups and the jugs and you know, you know what range I'm talking about. And a lot of you will also know that home sense stock a very similar range in fact like multiple ranges that are really similar to the Bosley collection so here are some bowls that are really similar to that range if you can see I'll give you like an up close shot you can see that they've got the little bubble detail little like bubbled circular I don't really know like what it's called is it called like beveled or bubbled or bubbled I don't even know what I'm saying anymore <laughs> it's got a few stripes going all the way around the rim as well so a very good Neptune dupe here and oh I think the price has come off these but I don't think they're any more than three pound here is another really similar style as well I think it's a little bit different to those larger bowls that I've just showed you and um, but again really similar with this bubble detail around the edge and this has like a little extra bit of detail here really really pretty and very similar to the ceramics on Neptune as well and then finally I picked up these yesterday these are like some little like dessert plates starter plates they've got the bubble detail all around the edge I just think these are really really pretty and I only bought these yesterday so the price is still on and they were £2.50 each which is an absolute steal. I also think that Next stocks a really similar range to the Bosley range as well. I've seen that a bit on Instagram so if I can find that I will also link that down below too. So that's the end of the video everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favourite Neptune dupes. Like I said at the beginning of the video it doesn't mean that I don't shop at Neptune or that I don't like Neptune. I love Neptune and I'm literally in the Southport shop 
maybe like twice, three times a month. So yeah, it's my favourite shop. This was just a little video to give you a few ideas on how you can kind of create that look um, using other products and other businesses and other brands. So yeah, just a little bit of fun. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I think last week's video I ended saying that I was nearly at 700 subscribers and now I'm nearly at 800 subscribers, which I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot. I know that I've got my 15,000 on Instagram, which I'm so, so grateful for, but I feel like YouTube's a little bit harder to kind of grow and get seen. So the fact that I'm nearly at 800 subscribers is amazing. And I'm really, really grateful for anyone that subscribes or watches or likes or comments. I'm just really grateful for everyone that supports me on YouTube. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you could do so and try and get me to 800 subscribers very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week with a new video and it's going to be a small business homeware haul and I am so excited to share everything with you. Sorry, the lighting is going dodgy again, but yeah, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know which dupes you like the best. And I will see you next week with the small business homeware haul video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.